great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Syracuse Orange and the Duke Blue Devils. Number 21 is, brings that upperclassman mentality and maturity his teammates need. Yeah, Brad, a senior leader is the guy who the team can't count on for support. This kid is no exception. The Blue Devils will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Blue Devils should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Third, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Galvin receives the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The center receives the pass. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Trying to feed the low block. Erickson, pump fakes. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Down inside. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. You betcha. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He launches a three, knocks it down. Gave it up. Thinks about the shot. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He dials long distance. Weak side rebound. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They go into the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Now trying to feed the low block. Frierson handles the feed. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Fakes the jumper. The shooting guard handles the pass. For two. 
Perfectly executed. He uses the shot fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Unloads a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Ivy is feeling great out there right now. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. the pick for the bucket he gets the shot to fall here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer there's the fake ball down low puts it on the floor to around fadeaway Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Galvin. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. At the line. Makes it. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. And they get the turnover. I don't know what I enjoyed more, Brad. The Dunker watching the mascot. What a reaction. He's really into it. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Gave it up. Got a wide open look. Trying to draw some contact. Sinks it. Shoots from downtown. Got it. There's the trap. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Leans in. Gets it to fall. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Now they'll push it the other way. Ivy has got the people in the bleachers up in appreciation. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for it. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? High post screen. Going to use it? He gets it to go. That's a 10-0 run.
ready to hit the floor. Intercepted. The ball goes out of play. Harm and foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post flashes. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Nice fake. Hickey's working on that low block. He blocks the shot. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He attempts the three. Goes in. Shooter spotting up on a three. He shoots from right of the circle. Sinks the shot. the way get a layup let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews Brad and Dick the coaching staff told me before the game this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early they said when he gets hot his entire team will follow suit and they'll feel good about having the game in hand all right thanks Aaron the Blue Devils consistently rank high in terms of home wins it's a very difficult place to play home wins is a great way to increase your winning percentage Working around the perimeter. Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, I put guy down inside that was so big that I really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gave it up. the inside a little bit of a collision there but no foul called there I did a good call by the official not blowing the whistle I think it's an excellent call gotta take some pride on the defensive end puts it on the floor and up and under I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move and good footwork it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork Trying to draw the foul. Great shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. For the bucket. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Fast break opportunity here. 
Working it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Oh, yes. It's the replay, please. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. He puts it up. Goes. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Wide open for the shot. From the top of the circle, he buries the long-range bomb. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside. He's got some room. He shoots from the elbow. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dick, I'm really impressed at how quickly they get back on defense. I'm more impressed with how quickly they respond to the correct rotations. Good fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Basic. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. He steps up to the line. Hits the first shot. it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. In the paint. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. The double team. He takes it away. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Goes up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, he's having fun with the opponents, Dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Double team now, bad angle. Shoots, drains it. Oh. 
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. There's a high percentage oh, shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Two. And he missed. The skip pass is picked off. There's a slam. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes in. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Terry look from three-point land. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Looking for a good shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Buries it. Good job defensively. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Three-point territory. Drains the shot. Got some room. The kick out. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He is going to the line. Makes the first. Makes his second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Isn't it great, Brad? Defense made him keep it too low. Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby, celebrating a lot of jubilation. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He takes the shot from the baseline. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Tries a three. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going down with ease, Brad. I 
trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fakes the shot. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. And the ball goes out of play. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? At the end of the first half, the Orange are down by 16. Duke had an awesome first half shooting the ball. Dick, can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the compulsion they're showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a very methodical team. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, do you think? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. You got to love the Cameron crazies. These students will do just about anything to ensure themselves a seat at an upcoming college basketball game. Yeah, these students will do anything to guarantee themselves a seat, especially at big games like this. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. off the lazy pass. They're off into transition. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Dumps it in. There they come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in the basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. For two. That's a great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets it to go. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He 
didn't even have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Look at that spacing. For the bucket, and off the mark. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes for the deep one. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Number 10 is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. He'll go to the line. He got it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. go they're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight Dick yeah they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day I get a feeling they changed things up a little bit Dick we'll see what they come up with Brad away with it and now in transition going the other way makes it that's a 12 zero run and a momentary look from three-point land there's the trap the defender right on his hip and i think he's holding his ground dick doing a great job i tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. They work the perimeter. Double team now. Bad angle. He fires from long range. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. Picks off the pass. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Go 
goes up for two. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots. Dude. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. It appears a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here we go on the break. Jumps into the defender. That was nice. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Pump fakes. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Moving it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart a high screen here's a double team steal Dickey's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you the orange are behind by 19 Picked out of the air. They work it around the perimeter. For two. The three balls had a better start flying, baby. But this one's almost over. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Fakes it. Up oh, fake. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Tries one from three-point land. Goes. Show the replay on that. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He fires it up. He can't miss. Teddy Shub Man's feeling it, Brad. the baseline off the rim and no good Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild for the bucket basket falls despite the contact gave it up Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries to get the D to bite. And 
and he'll kick it back outside. Shot clock expires. It expired because this is a good example of how to make an offense think themselves out of a good shot, Brad. Great defense. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And they come with a double team to stop it. You know, speed, I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He goes for three, knocks it down. Let's see the replay. for a good shot. And his shot rejected. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. There's a double team waiting there. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He shoots from the angle. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was Makes the block. They're working around the perimeter. From beyond the arc, way off target. Looking for the foul. The double team can't contain him. That's not how you work a double team, Brad. You and I got to go show them the double team. Picked off. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes the first. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. miss that opportunity either. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Tries for two. They still don't score. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Throws it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He tries to knock down the three. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. going to be a five second call credit that to the defense the offense begins off the sideline inbounds great defensive play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action fans are pleased now given the fact that this game is really out of reach it's almost an expectation Brad. you're supposed to win your home games but winning by this amount my goodness the ball goes out of play boy assisted turnover ratios are big and that's a big turnover I'll tell you they're turning the ball over too often you can't win when you do that how can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. This is simply a great play, Brad. the roll and the ball goes out of bounds intercepted he lets it go way off target Jumps in. He drains the bucket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He knocks down another bucket there. This kid's got skills, Brad. They move it into the front court. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. He nails the shot. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. They're working around the arc. Uh, 
Top of the circle. Gets up to make the block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Trying to draw some contact. Up and in. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Working it around the perimeter. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Moving it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter on the outside. They work it around the perimeter. Step out of that screener. Looks at the three. He drains the shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. drive how about the state farm drive of the game i tell you he was explosive he was up up and away what a drive to the rack baby that was special duke wins by a huge margin with the difference in these two teams rankings the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion brad nessler saying so long for my partners dick vitale and aaron andrews thanks for joining us